onto, and this is the kitchen, separate of the house. Mm. They cook with firewood, just for a reason, the smoky walls, no? We have okay. I want to introduce Floor. Buenos dias, Floor. How are you? Well, she makes chicha in this place. Now, mm. uh, you see? This glass is called caporal. It's one per person, eh? All right. Give it to the It's true. Yeah. Caporal de chicha. Oh, well, both are made with corn. Look, the variety of corn that grows in this valley. Oh, my gosh. There's 50 varieties of corn. Mm. I like corn. Let me show you some. You know this one? Mm. Right? Yeah. Popcorn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, remember the corn we have in Lima that we were eating as an appetizer in restaurants? Uh -huh. right. This is called churpi, it's another variety of corn. This one here is called Czech Cesara, another variety of corn. This is the famous white imperial, the corn that I'm talking that is famous in the world that grows in this valley. This is uh -huh. the white corn. This corn those guys are half of the normal size. You know I mean? You have orange, you have yellow, reddish. Sorry, before that, this is the black corn, black corn, right? This is the only one is not heavy. If you boil and you try it to make purple colors, they use the cup, right? And the other ones are used to do the chicken, the corn. Then how is this process? After they harvest the corn, they need to dry the corn, they need to hash the corn, they need to shell the corn, and now, after that, those grains, they're going to put in pots with water, with a straw, with plastic during uh, five, six, uh, six, seven days in order to sprout, you see? Mm. You need to sprout the corn first. Right. And this is called hora. You can make this in your home or you can buy it in the market. You can buy it. Right. And this is the first process. After you sprout this, you need to dry. How you dry? In the patches. Patios are very useful for the families because it's the social life. Then they put a plastic on the ground and with a strong sand, and you feel how strong is the sand, mm -hmm. dries quickly. Huh? After that, they need to grind it. They're going to use a mortar. And that is the difference that we have with the oldest times. I'm talking the Incas or probably the pre Incas times. Women were not grounding the corn, they were chewing the corn. Mm -hmm. That means they don't need to sprout the corn at the oldest mm -hmm. times. It's going to be full of water and it's put all the corn that has been grounded there. Mm -hmm. And they boil the firewood. This is how people cook in these areas. Not chimneys, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's no smoke because they open like that. That straw makes like a filter, right? Then they put the liquid here and it's going to filter in in this pot. The leftovers go back to be reboiled two more hours. They put the liquid here and it's going to filter and the next morning is ready to drink. They say the best chicha is from one day to the other one. Always the night before you need to leave always a little bit of chicha because that chicha is gonna ferment the chicha from the next like day. Like Sarah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like when you make it's gonna be used to feed the guinea pigs. Uh -oh. It's for that reason the guinea pigs from the bars are tasting better than the guinea pigs <laughs> that are raised at home just with barley grass. No, because those have something extra. Right? This is a strawberry juice and sugar. This mm. one reason is sweeter. Mm. And it's dangerous to drink, no? You know, after a few glasses you don't feel the alcohol. A lot of alcoholics, corn, no, sour, ferment. And the people before drink guys here, remember they have a lot of respect for the Pachamama. You know what's right. mother, right? That the people before drink, they always offer the Pachamama first because the Pachamama is thirsty. Always is thirsty. <laughs> and as a respect you need to give some for the Pachamama before, right? You can do it, guys. Don't worry, but this yeah. chicha is tasty, here, right? Mm -hmm. And that was the sacred drink at the Incas times, guys. <laughs> chicha, corn, was food for nobles. Was not for... Pututo. We call Pututo this instrument. It's a trumpet. You see? It's a hole, mm -hmm. right? They make a hole. And the people are not good to do that, okay? But the people make a sound in the mountains. And the people recognize the sound and they say, oh, something happens in the community, let's go for a meeting. No? It's like the alarm, no? In the mountains, they go to the potatoes. Yeah? 4,000 varieties of potatoes. I never seen all together, of course, right? And now look this, guys. 
What's this? Two rocks? Two rocks. Two rocks. Yes. This is the base of the Andean economy. Right. The markets, potatoes, they're going to pay years. you 70 cents of salt. Right. Yeah. But if you buy a kilo of this, it's going to be eight soles, three dollars. Mm. Good money. Right? Mm. For a reason also, they are doing this. But this is coming since the oldest times. Oh, okay. These are the bar Can owners, oh. Mercedes and Fortuna. And this is Flora. She was our hostess today. Thank you, gracias. Potatoes and other food. Put in the mouth in is 5,000 pounds. Wow. They play with a, with a board, no? Normally we play boys against girls, no? And who make the okay. first 50,000 points won. 50, and the losers have to buy the drinks. Pay the drinks. Ah. But if you make a sap, you need to know your score. Then uh -huh. you open the box. Ah. And you see, oh. each, each place oh. has a score. Also, if you put it. Come on, you can get it. Oh. The sapo. Oh. No one got the sapo. Yeah. Yeah. came and they conquer these areas, they add new houses on top of the Inca foundations. But if you see, all these walls are Inca in both sides, right? In both sides. Remember the towns were organized in canchas, and cancha means a block. Houses, the patios is still having the Inca walls and the niches that we saw yesterday in the upper area, okay? That means this town, this size of the street is original. Right? Because in those times, people and animals walking on the street. And this is bringing water to supply the city at the end of time. This is the water supply, the anchor time, the tunnel. And today, the river. They can't, yeah, they can't. No, right? That's not the idea. But the only way is to restore. How is that process? That process? You need, need to be by the Peruvian state, by archaeologists. And this process is called anastasilosis, right? That means, if you see, all the rocks have a name. Yeah. This is the G1, this is the I-26, right? All the rocks, the J2, right? All have names. Somebody needs to make later chalk square lines, you know, like a jiggle puzzle, correct? And somebody needs to draw that wall in a paper, like a blueprint, right? with the same shape of the rock, the same number, and the chalk line in the map. They put down the wall, and with that map, they yeah, put off it. the wall. That wall mine. <laughs> right? Then, if you ask the people around these areas, farmers, do you speak Quechua? They're going to say yes was Spanish, the main language. And they were trying to, to forget the Quechua, no, because that was a farmer language. It's good, right? It's very good. It's a hummingbird with that long beak that comes to this flower. You know, each hummingbird has been designed by the nature for each flower, for a different flowers. For reason you have... This is your opportunity. Eh? They are native people. They're coming from a community up in the mountains. Eh? These people walk two, three hours. They don't care. Right. This is from embracing an Andean woman. Right? Take this. And they walk with this kind of cat. You see, it's not a fedora. In their heads. And they learn since they are babies when they learn to do textiles. They don't need a book or paper to see it. Mm -hmm. They have in their minds, right? But they're doing this always. With the heritage they have, then these guys is a writing record that these people keep for the textile okay? So what community was that again? I want to get it on my... We, we, you know, mommy? Patacancha, Patacancha. Patacancha. What are the animals on the... It's, it's on the... Patacancha is up there. On the hergarment. Which animals? Ah! Hey, just bought some stuff from the ladies there. What's the name of this town? Oh, there it is. It's on that building over there.
Ochikanchka. Anyway, this is at the foot of the monument, and most of the town is in the old Inca style pattern is the name of the town, and it's right at the foot of the historic site we went to yesterday, which I can't pronounce. There's a restaurant upstairs, and this would be their view. So, this is the square, very scenic. <laughs> There's Art. Hi, Art. <laughs> Look, can you believe somebody is going to go mountain biking here? Look at those bikes on top of there. They must have a bike tour. That would be a killer. Oh my gosh. There's a Tut Tut recently introduced, apparently, under the president that built the. Oh, and it's a Batman Tut Tut. Uh, they had these all over Iquitos, didn't they? But yeah. We hadn't seen them in Lima at all. But. In these the city doesn't have uh, uh, places around Cusco and kind of all around farmers market thing going on here. Farmers market with food, some sort of little heck I. How do you eat it? I wonder. Well, obviously, you have to take it down that pod because it is a field, and the field is a place that the Incas defeated. The only battle where they defeated the Spaniards, and it was a great defeat for the Spaniards, they flooded the fields and the Spanish horses couldn't get through it. And then the Spanish soldiers had to walk on a high ridge and got all picked off. That was the last